Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So today I am hopping on to do a few videos. So today's a filming day. So I'm just currently in my studio picking out some makeup for a clean makeup look that I'm going to be doing on my YouTube channel and also in an Instagram reel. So I'm just picking up all of the makeup that I want to try. So stay tuned for that video um, on my YouTube channel. It'll be up afterwards, but I'm also doing a like day in the life, um, just sort of like vlog style video. So I've just got loads of things to do today. I need to clean the studio. I need to pack my kit for a wedding tomorrow. I need to clean some of my kit and I just also need to clean brushes and all that good stuff, do some admin. So yeah, it's a really busy action packed day. Hopefully I can fit it all in. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to hop on quickly and just do a little intro into my vlog so that you know what I'm getting up to. I'm just in my studio. I'm just going to be packing up all of my makeup kit. I've got a wedding tomorrow. It's quite a large bridal party. It's me and three assistants and it's something like 11 or 12 people. It, it's a lot. It's a, it's a really big wedding party. So I'm just thought you might be interested to see me like just packing up my kit. This is going to be really vlog style, just really like a little bit time lapsed, a little bit of just like just me doing stuff basically. Because um, I thought people might want to see like behind the scenes and all that sort of stuff. So I'm just going to literally be packing up my kit um, and then I am going to be washing some makeup brushes afterwards. So because I've got so many to wash. They take hours and they need plenty of time to dry so I really need to kick my butt into gear and get my brushes washed as well because we are now at like 1.30 in the day I think. Um, so yeah time is ticking. So yeah I'm just going to pack my kit and then I will wash my brushes so you can see all of that. We are currently in my studio. This is where I keep all of my stuff. Um, I unpack it and then pack it again because I hold trials in here in between the week and then weddings in the week as well and also on the weekend. So it's a lot of like unpacking and packing. So yeah, I hope this bit is interesting for you to watch. So hopefully you can see this quite well. I've just put in my Charlotte Tilbury airbrush foundation in quite a few shades and then I've also put in my light wonder foundation and one of my magic foundation Charlotte Tilbury has discontinued this but I've got the shade zero which as you can see is really light so I just pack the one shade and I kind of use it to mix in with the other foundations Next, I am going in with primers. For primers, I use my V Saint Laurent Blur Primer, my Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filters in shade one and three, and then this is just my setting spray by Charlotte Tilbury. So I just pack all of those as well. Next, I'm going in with setting powder. So I've got my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder already in here. This is what I use to give to the bride in a small little pot with a powder puff so that she can blot throughout the day and reapply. So this just goes in here. Then I've got both of my hourglass powders. These are the ambient light ones. And I've just got ethereal light and luminous light so these are really pretty and I use those as a finishing powder and then for the actual face powder I've got my Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless powder which is really nice and then for bronzers I'm just going to pack all of my Charlotte Tilbury powders and Hollywood flawless in here and all of my Fenty creams and then in this section I also package all of my eyeshadows so I've just got all my Charlotte Tilbury quads uh, a Tom Ford new dip 
quad this is my absolute favorite and then my mario palette and they just go in there like so then i'm packing my concealers i've got a mixture of the magic away concealers in here and then also just some l'oreal ones which i also use and a color corrector in here i'm going to put all of my lip products they are depotted and my brow palette And then I've got my brush bag and all of my beauty blenders and these just go down here. I have finished packing it. Let me turn you around. So this is how it's looking. This is my, my Kitco kit. It's just got all my brushes in it. I've still got to wash some so I'll show you that next. And then this is my Relevel bag and I am also taking two hair extensions because basically one of the bridesmaids when she came for the trial she wasn't sure if she would want to wear extensions um so i'm taking some super light blonde ones for her and then there was also someone else who didn't know um if they wanted them so i have color matched the two bridesmaids um so i know what colors they are and i'm just taking these as a just in case and then they can purchase them um on the day so yeah I'm just gonna bring them with me there's my little doggo little Zobug so she's just waiting for dinner now because I'm taking forever and this is me yeah I'm really loving this little hairstyle I did a clean girl makeup look today and I pinned my hair up like this and I'm really liking it it's really just sort of cool I guess um so yeah i'm now gonna head out to feed this little one and see you in the next bit when i'm washing my brushes you good girl beautiful oh she's so cute So we're in a new setting. I don't think I've ever shown this room on my channel before. Um, I've got my bedroom and then I have a second room um, in the house, which is, as you can see, like a little bit of stock. Um, I've got all my packaging and stuff here, all my cardboard boxes under this unit. Um, this is where I package all of my mannequin orders and my hair accessory orders, extension orders the whole lot um it's all go i have just got back from having my nails done i didn't vlog it because no i'm not feeling that confident at the minute to be walking around with a camera um in public yeah i'm a little bit nervous about doing that so i have my nails done because me and my boyfriend are going to montenegro uh saturday so i've got a wedding tomorrow and then i come home Got to wash my brushes and then we go to Montenegro and I am also eating Malteser chocolate bar because I've got mad cravings and
best. So I wanted to hop on because today has been like a bunch, it's kind of been all over the place where I've kind of like had so much to do. I had so many like house things to do, like errands and stuff like that. But I did uh, pack in my kit, I washed my brushes, um, just a general like what I have to do to prep for a wedding. I'm currently running through schedules. I kid you not, I have got an un unbelievable amount of weddings this year. And I am so grateful, but the admin is giving me anxiety. It is hectic. Um, so for those of you who might not know like what happens in the background, so you do someone's hair and makeup for a trial, for a wedding, and then when they leave I have to type up all of the notes from the makeup that we used because the lipstick could be a specific one, um, I may have used a specific like highlighter and all that stuff that works for people's skin tones, so you can't just take a photo and not write down what you've used. I also, for insurance purposes, have to write down everything that I've used. Um, so that say they did have an allergic reaction, I've then got a note of all of the stuff that I used. I then have a separate spreadsheet listed with all of the makeup products that I buy, the date I bought them, and then the sell-by date. Um, so I have to check that it's within date regularly and stuff like that. And then I also have to do a schedule, so I have to do like a timing schedule. So you'll have your main quotation that you send out when a bride inquires. Then they come to the trial and you write down all of the makeup that you used. And then thirdly, you would do a timing schedule. So your bride leaves the trial and you would have asked them ceremony time, what time they want to be ready, um, to have dresses and photos, what time the photographers come in so you can kind of tie in to that. And I have to like work out all of those different stages and where I want the bride, everyone else. Then I work backwards to see what time we arrive. Um, once that schedule's done, um, I would have also pre-booked assistance for that date so that's a whole other thing as well so when you have a bigger bridal party and you don't you physically can't carry out all of those services you would go out to artists um and see who's free basically um and that can take weeks like literally weeks you are messaging i kid you not like 30 to 50 people sometimes in in the busy period um 70 of the time i book my regulars um because i know when someone's booked a wedding but because of covid people have booked so far in advance that some of my key dates i literally had to message around so many people um and i would i've got a few people in who are like new that i've excuse me, never worked with, um, but of course I can see their Instagram work and stuff like that. So yeah, you have to book in those people, then you have to pay them invoices, um, you have to do your taxes. Uh, I do my taxes quite regularly just because I li like to keep on top of it because otherwise it is just mental. Just all the little expenditures, it's just, it's just a lot to keep on top of and I am my own accountant, I do my own taxes. So um, I like to do it quarterly at the minute. I have been bad in the past where I do it literally once a year, like right at the last minute, or I've done it like twice a year, every six months. Now I do it quarterly just because as I've got busier, I could not keep up with doing it literally every six months. So that is what I'm doing this evening. I have got, uh, I've got a good 12, 13 emails to get through. You can see my little my little dog in the background. Oh, she's so cute. Um, I've got a good 12 or 13 emails to get back to and they will be like after you do a wedding. We are back. So I was just on the phone to my boyfriend. That's who was ringing me. Um, so yeah, you have to do all of these like admin things afterwards. So tonight I go on holiday on Saturday. So I'm trying to get through a long list of schedules just so that I feel organised. I mean, it, for me to be organised, I need to do three schedules, 
and four emails. So welcome back to the vlog. This is a different day. You'll probably see because I am wearing a different top. So I thought I was getting a parcel the day that I was filming my day in the life vlog and it didn't end up coming. Um, I just got mixed up with the days basically. So it's now come and I wanted to include it in my video just because it sort of runs with what I would do in my day. I'd be sort of like doing packaging and sort of um, restocks and all that sort of thing. So I have had my parcel from the Tiny Box Company. Uh, I don't know if they ship worldwide. I think they do, um, but they are a UK based company and basically they sell boxes and packaging and all of that good stuff so this is how it's looking inside so i've got really itchy nose from my hay fever um so this is how it looks inside you can see all of my boxes are nicely packaged and i just thought i would show you um god my nose is really itchy i don't know if i've got some fluff on it um show you what I picked up so I go for three different size boxes I go for my extra large size which is this one as you can see in comparison to my head not really sure why I'm comparing it to my head um but this is what I put my uh like veils in and big um like hair accessories like tiaras and crowns that have a little bit of height to them um, because once the padding goes into this box uh, which I'll show you in the other boxes um, it takes up some of the height so you have to actually go for quite a high box um, inside you can see I've got my padding I have my sort of um, what's it called vellum vellum I don't even know don't even ask me at this point um I'll, I'll like write it down below but it's a special type of um like tissue paper that you can put your logo on and it's like clear am i seriously still itching my nose how is it even still itchy um and then i have my little thank you card in it as well so that is my large box moving on to my medium sized box so bear in mind i haven't put the um logo like i have on these ones i haven't put them on here yet so these are just plain boxes and this is for like hair vines or um my big hair combs that are quite a like 10 centimeters 15 centimeters like they can vary in length so these are for hair vines large hair combs and sometimes my pins because if i do like a five or six pin set then it will go in here and you get this insert which is basically sort of that sort of foam on one side and then the sort of velvet on the other side and the box is just clear and that comes as standard in these boxes so they do a cheaper style of box um called the craft box so like craft paper so instead of like craft brown they do it in different colors but i'm not a fan of that texture and my accessories are luxury so i want my packaging to be luxury as well um it's still recyclable it's just like a more luxury fill and it is a laminated um like semi-gloss finish which i think is really nice so i ordered quite a few of those medium sized boxes and then these are my small boxes so again these are either for um earrings so i have got different inserts um you know like a like a white bit of card that your earrings sort of slot into that's what will go in here and then i've got some pins that pin it down to this velvet mesh thing um, and it will basically hold the earrings in like that so that when they get them they open it up this way up um, and then if I've got like two or three hairpins or like a really small comb then it will go in sort of landscape so I got those as well so yeah I'm just going to put all of my logos on them and show you how I do that and then I'm also going to show you all my other packing accessories and bits and bobs. 
So, as you can see, I have these little boxes that I got from Primark. They were something like £1.50 each, and then I do have two big ones as well that were like £3 each. Um, and they do stack on top of each other if you wanted to, um, but just for ease of getting to everything, I have them separate. So, in this one over here, I have my old padding. This is part of my old boxes that I had. I'll actually show them to you. So these were my old boxes. As you can see, they're slightly thinner. Um, they're sort of like laminated and you can see there's like a grain to them. I don't know if you can see that, but they're definitely different to like this finish is like a matte finish and it's so much more smoother so this is the craft in white gloss um so it's basically like painted or like vinyl to over the craft and you get these clear inserts in them so although i'm sort of like getting to the end of these boxes and i'm not using them so much i have kept the inserts just in case I use them in anything else, I can sort of cut them to size as extra padding. I sometimes use them in packaging, in my postal orders, um, just to pad out the postal bag. But I just keep them there because they are included. You don't pay for them. They're free with the old boxes, so I might as well make use. Then in here, I've got, if you can see, these are my labels. So any, um, like headbands like fabric headbands um, with like pearls on them these are ironed or sewn into those headbands um, so this is my logo for those i've got some packing tape so when i uh, seal up my postal boxes or um, packages they will have this cute little tape um, wrapped around i get this from etsy it's quite pricey it is 10 pounds per roll and this is um, a new roll so this is how it comes and I get through this I'd probably say I get through this every two months because it's accessories it's not like a big product so I'm not using so much of it so I guess it does last but obviously five pounds on tape a month um, is more expensive than like a clear sellotape but it does it just adds a personal touch and it's biodegradable it's recyclable um, so I like to use this because I think it's pretty, but yes, it is £10 from Etsy, which I think is a good price. Um, but obviously, yeah, it's more expensive than normal sellotape. Then I've got my ribbons. Um, I've got my wide ribbon. So this is two millimetre, two centimetres wide. Uh, this is for my bigger boxes. So this is for my medium box and my large. And then I have got a thinner ribbon, which is one millimetre, and this I use for my earring boxes or the really small box. I have also got some white ribbon. This I rarely use. Um, I kind of bought it and then realised that I wasn't going to use it because I wanted coloured ribbon, but I've kept it anyway because it was a couple of quid and I might as well find a use. So sometimes I use this to, use this to like attach my labels to products rather than using um these other things which i'll show you in a minute so yeah sometimes i do use this for like my labeling now and just like tie a little knot and then i've got some more as well so i use a like a variety of different ribbons for my labeling then i've got my wax seals i did think about making my own ones because i think it would add a personal touch but wax stamps are quite expensive um they can be sort of like 20 or 30 pounds to have your logo on it and I guess it yeah it's just it's just a lot and I've not really done it yet so I do buy pre-made wax stamps just because of that expense um and these are super cute again they're off Etsy they're self-adhesive they do different colors and it just says with love it's just sort of like a generic one so I have those as well and they go on the box once it's sealed then I have my logo stickers. These are, um, I've got generic Elite Bridal and then ones that are the accessories um, just because I do sell hair extensions as well. So um, I use the non-accessory ones on the hair extensions and the accessory ones on the accessories. These are the tags I use. So as you can see, it's got that little shoelace on it and then you attach the bottom and it keeps it together. Um, and you can just see my logo tags here. Again, off Etsy, everything's literally off Etsy. And then I have my cards. 
so like my thank you cards these are just gloss a6 cards it's got my logo um this is one of my brides um i just absolutely loved um this picture and it made it onto my logo card but i do plan on getting some new ones because i need to top up because these go down quick um and on the back it just says thank you for your order it's got all my social links um so yeah this goes with the order as well and then lastly is my gift bags so these um are just gift bags that i got again from the tiny box company so these are the i believe these are the large and these are the small um because they're the medium out of stock and i love these these are basically they don't come with the orders uh, if you place online and pay for delivery but they do um get given to brides who buy an accessory in my studio so if i have got the stock if i've, I've if, if if i've just got enough there basically um in addition to any samples that are on display then they can take it home the same day and um yeah it's just a nice little touch to have the the gift bag so i do have that option for brides um or they can just look at a wider selection on the website um if they want to have a little think about it lastly i have a package here and this is just for ribbon top ups these i get from ebay um i have got them from etsy before but i just find that this seller from ebay is they're just the cheapest um they're also super super quick um so yeah i have got some top ups of these so that's everything from my like day in the life my typical sort of like washing brushes packing kit unpacking kit cleaning kit um admin i've just been doing a heap load of admin um booking like assistant artists in for dates throughout the year um now i've sort of finished all my admin so it's just a case of like sending a payment reminder to brides um of why schedules and everything have all been done so yeah i'm hoping that in the next sort of like couple of weeks i can really focus on the hair accessories and the mannequins but no it's all good i'm so grateful for all of my weddings that i have this year after the last two years um i've got so many incredible brides and i've had so many incredible brides and i'm i'm just excited for the summer um but yeah i hope you i'm gonna like end it here now and i hope you enjoyed watching this and it was just calming and enjoyable just to sort of see what i get up to and like the little bits sort of behind the scenes um let me know if you want to see more of these if you want to see one of me packing orders or whatever just let me know um but i will see you in the next one so bye guys